I have to say, I, you know, no, I don't think so, unfortunately. Uh, be nice. Yeah. No, but as, as an Irish person, uh, you know, uh, as a I do, we, I do have problems with the British justice system sometimes. But uh, on this case, I think we got Al Gore right. You know, I would support the conversation. It's very interesting about the court case. When we were making the film, we wanted to show archives, like from CNN, of, of when that, that, that case was covered here in the States. And there is no archive. Because it was never on the news. It wasn't a news story. So Al Gore won a Nobel Prize. He won an Emmy. He won an Oscar. And then the High Court in Britain discovered that his film is flawed. And CNN didn't think that, that was worth covering as a news story. It wasn't in the New York Times. And we showed audiences around the country. We did some um, focus groups. And they couldn't believe that. Parents couldn't believe that. But that actually hadn't been covered as a news story. So people don't know about that. So, um, so I was wondering, Stephanie, ever since I've been a little kid, you've been a heartbeat away from global annihilation. Okay? And I think our, our collective memory is very, very short. I remember being scared to death of the oncoming um, ice age in 1977. And I tell people this, they oh, what? I say, you can do global warming. Can you, is there any way you can do a montage of every time all the wars that were 10 years from destruction, every time since 1977, that time magazine covers that we're all going to die by 1990? I mean, people don't realize we've been telling ourselves these little scare stories for the last 30 years, and it ain't happening. It ain't going to happen. Um, every time you see a montage, and I don't think people remember that. I think collectively, people don't recall Christ to Christ to Christ. Well, we tried to put that forward in the, the opening, you know, Paul Ehrlich. I missed that. Oh, you missed that. Uh, <laughs> okay, we did have that. And we had the, the um, mad cow to One other thing about the, the global cooling is, is if you go to our blog, WashingtonPolicyBlog.org, we put up today all sorts of quotes from the 1970s from various scientists and magazines and newspapers talking about global cooling and the coming high stage. So you can, you can look for it there as well. Yes. very difficult because the NGOs that are controlling charitable spending are against CDT. You know, I mean, look, look at, as I said, Bill Gates. I mean, his spend is huge. The, his, his organization, um, the, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, has huge, massive, massive resources and just got that massive injection from, um, from Warren Buffett. And they don't agree with DDT. So, you know, it's not much time. And the European Union has warned them. But if, if DDT is found in any of their agricultural products, they won't be allowed to be exported into the European Union. So it will wipe out whatever agricultural exports they have. So you have a choice then, you know. Do you save your child or save your, your national agricultural industry? I'd like, like to say, for no important, in the 40s, we used to love to follow the DDT truck. Yeah. Right. Get the fog and dancing. That's what happened. You look around, you can tell who was born in the 40s, they have gray hair. <laughs> The Europe the lost cause. Is it? Uh, <laughs> it? We were here. There's, there's actually the debate in East Europe. It's gone. There's nothing going on over here. Nothing. No, no. My own father in his 90s talks about his car's footprint. <laughs> He's just had a hip operation. Yeah. He hasn't done anything. What you've got to do, I'll tell you exactly what you've got to do. You, 
you've got enough call it cap and trade. It's a tax. It's a tax. It's a global warming tax. Don't let them tell you it's cap and trade. That is taxed by a stealth tax. And it's so wrong. And it's evil, that's evil. And you need to call it that. Cap and, no cap and trade. No, it is a global warming tax. Repeat after us. Global warming tax. <laughs> We really like it again. We want to get it in the theatre. That's the plan. Yeah. Please be in touch with us. Yes. Is, is this the complete? Yes. Yes. But you're seeing it in an incredibly, obviously, a very poor environment. Uh, One thing that you did in mind your own business is you had a lot of idiots talking for themselves and digging their own holes. Yeah. Not quite as many. We had that bird lady that was <laughs> out there. So you didn't just see. Jim, Jim Hansen is a pretty good, does a good job for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, from now and I'll go where you can. Any other questions? Yeah. Thanks for doing the film. I, I love the flex and all that, but I do wonder why you included that guy that spoke for the tobacco industry, that scientist, <coughs> pretty much is credited to be a singer. No, not Hansen. Senior Fred Singer. Yeah, he spoke to the yeah. yeah, um, Basically, he has no credit. If you're trying to convince somebody of these topics, to someone who's informed on the other side, seeing that man is, you lose credibility. I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with that. I mean, um, yeah, well, he was a, he, he was a scientist. I know, but why is it, why is it, why is it, why is it, why is it this side has to defend where we get our money from? And Al Gore has a $300 million weed campaign that no one ever asks him where he got his money from. And he actually sells who, 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 who makes, who funds Michael Moore's films? Can any, does anyone know? Have you ever heard a, a, someone on a TV program ask Michael Moore where he gets his money from? But every time we take a foot out of the door, they ask us, who's funding you? Where do you get your money from? Well, mind your own business where we get our money from. And if you want to know where you get your money from, you have to ask Michael Moore as well, and you have to ask Al Gore. You know? So, so, so yeah, something that's going to happen. We money for, uh, for that Roger and me film about how wonderful uh, auto workers were on their $25 an hour. We ran out of money for that. Where did you get the money to finish the film? Off the unions. And, and he came up with this wonderful idea that you use for Brit. Isn't that a surprise? But no one ever asks him that. And you know what? I don't care where Ray gets his money from. Him. You have to say to us, well, what's wrong with the journalism? Forget with the money. Don't follow the money. <laughs> follow the journalism. Follow the facts. And the truth, sm the truth smells good. We're, we're going to get a copy of the British court ruling. What? We're going to get a copy of the British court ruling. It's online. Is it on your website? It's, no, it's not on our website. But, but well, actually, we should, we should put it on our website. Okay, that's a good idea. But, but, oh, join our Facebook, by the way. Are you Facebook people? Yes. yes. Join our Facebook. Yeah. We have three, we have over 3,000. When we go home tonight, we'll put it on the Facebook. We'll put it on Facebook. We keep playing errors. Not even just wrong. Yeah? I'll be Twitter. Yes, we have a good way to talk. And my experience on what you were saying, was it Pat Moore, who you were saying, was discredited? No, same. Fred Singer. Fred Singer. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, well, thank you very much.